Hello, welcome to St. Fabian Catholic Church via the real World Wide Web. I'm Carolyn Nation, your lecturer and commentator. The music is led by Karen Hightower and Dixie Lawson. Our celebrant is Father Tommy. The readings can be found on page 42. This is the fourth Sunday of Advent. There is a longing in our hearts which Jesus Christ comes to fulfill. Come, Lord Jesus, into our open hearts and welcome you, we will. I too say welcome to all of you for our celebration of the Eucharist, whether you're in Marrero or Monaghan, Loveland or Leitrim, Starkville or Seminary, nice to have you with us. We begin as we usually do by remembering we have been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And my hope is, as you're in your domestic church, that you have a blessing plate and a blessing cup with some bread and wine for our celebration of communion time. And so the psalm reminds us, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. And we come on this fourth Sunday of Advent to sing of God's goodness, to give him praise and thanks for all of his blessings. And we prepare ourselves by asking for one of those blessings, forgiveness for our sins. Pour your grace into our hearts, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. Forgive us for all our sins, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You give us a promise of a place with you in heaven, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us for our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. So we pray. Pour forth. We beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ Jesus, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We listen now to God's word. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I 
will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever Forever I I will sing sing the the goodness goodness of of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever Forever I I will sing sing the goodness goodness of of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn David to my servant. Forever I will confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He said, he shall say of me, you are my father, my God, my rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will will sing sing the goodness goodness of of the the Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings, and according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. Her name was Mary. And coming to her, the angel said, Hail, full of grace, The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I've had no relations with the man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, 
and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All four candles are burning on our Advent wreath. Hope, love, joy, and peace. We know David was a great king. As he got near the end of his life, he wanted to do something for God. He wanted to build God's house. But God had other plans, and David listened to the prophet Nathan. The plans changed. It was actually his son Solomon who eventually built the temple. Mary was a teenager. She was betrothed to Joseph. She probably expected to marry Joseph, raise a family, and have a nice, quiet life in Nazareth. But with the angel Gabriel's message, her plans too changed, and she was able to respond, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Nathan reminded David that he was created uniquely and individually to do God's will. My brothers and sisters, we are created uniquely and individually, and God has a plan for each one of us. Accepting that will, Father Richard Gribble says, is usually routine and ordinary, but sometimes it's dramatic, as in the case of David and Mary. What we say here in America, in baseball terms, when we get thrown a curveball. In our day-to-day -day lives, as we do the simple tasks and meet our responsibilities, we are actually doing God's will. But there are times when we're asked to do something we never considered. 2020 certainly threw a curveball to all of us, simply called the pandemic or COVID-19. The tendency usually in those circumstances is to bail out. But I want to say to you on this fourth Sunday of Advent, we must hang in there. Even when it means pain, extra work, or drudgery, we must carry on. Remember the words of Jesus. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, herself, take up your cross, and follow me. It may not always be easy, but the reward is out of this world. Thank you, and God bless. We profess our faith, and we'll use the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. hell. On the and third day he rose again, again from the dead. dead. He, ascended he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, God the Father Almighty. From, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. We're going to mention uh, several people by name. Lindsay Harwood is a uh, father of Tim Stovall, who died this past week. Catherine Conway is my sister-in-law for the third anniversary, as is my uncle Harry. I know Greta and her family usually tune in, so Greta, we're praying for all of you and for Frank and all of his family. And um, also Mass this weekend, one of the Masses for Ryan Kennedy.
so we forever sing the goodness of God, and so we ask that you listen to our needs as we pray. That we, like Mary, may ponder your invitation and give our full yes to all that you ask of us. Lord of life and love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our hearts may be stilled and quieted so that we may hear your word as it comes to us in word, people, and experiences each day. Lord of life and love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an end to the COVID pandemic, that you will heal the sick, strengthen our healthcare workers, and guide the distribution and administration of the vaccine. Lord of life and love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are away from home, particularly members of the military and relief workers, that you will keep them safe, help them fulfill their duties, and bring them home quickly. Lord of life and love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all Christians, particularly the members of this assembly and those in their domestic church, that they may proclaim the good news by word and example, Lord of life and love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Lindsay Harwood, father of Kim Stovall, Catherine Conway, Harry McAvoy, Ryan Hensley, may they sing forever of your love, Lord of life and love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our personal needs, which we pause to remember in silence. Lord of life and love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In joyful expectation of Christmas, we place these petitions before you our merciful God, and we ask them in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just remind the children, the pickle jar is still here, and we have some adults from around the country who sent us some money, and we appreciate the donations. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of many human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us, we ask you to be pleased with our sacrifice, which we offer you with humble and with contrite hearts. I just wash my hands, so I invite you to pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable and pleasing to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord God, sanctify these gifts which we have placed on this altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. Mary longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his birth. They may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. So with the saints, with the angels, with thrones, dominions, the whole choirs of heaven, we sing as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. highest. And so we pray. You, therefore, almighty God, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, Jesus, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Jesus has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Holy Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, Jesus, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at table, he himself took bread in his hands and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his apostles saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing into his hands and conversing Confessing your mercy, he gave it to his apostles, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of his death and resurrection, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you, Lord our God, what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us together with your Son, Jesus, and in the saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace and justice among all people. May he keep us in communion with our Pope Francis, with our bishop and all church leaders, and your, your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with Mary, with Joseph, our spouse, your blessed apostles, St. Fabian and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters who have died, especially Lindsay Harwood, May Tehan, Catherine Conway, Harry McAvoy, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. may be alone in your domestic church, remember you're never alone, you're part of our wider church family, and so we pray with great hope and confidence on this fourth Sunday of Advent. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that with the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from all worry, distress, and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles after your resurrection, Shalom, peace be with you. Do not look on our sins, but look, Lord, on our faith, Look on the faith of all your people. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Thank you. Perhaps in your domestic church you can share a sign of peace. The rest of us pray quietly for peace in our hearts, our homes, and our world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who calls us, who takes away our sins and the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. I invite you to join in our spiritual communion from your domestic church. Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come spiritually into my heart. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you're already there. As if you are already there. And unite myself wholly to you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me, never permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. And as we sing our communion hymn, you can share from your blessing plate and blessing cup in your homes.
having used our time of Advent to prepare for Christmas, and having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast of our salvation draws even nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly in the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's birth, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So uh, there's some questions about uh, the YouTube Masses, YouTube uh, for Christmas and New Year's Day. So we can tell you that on Christmas Eve at noon Mississippi time, which is 6 p.m. Irish time on Christmas Eve, our Mass for Christmas will be available, and obviously on Christmas Day. Our New Year's Day Mass is at 10 a.m. our time, so we live stream that Mass. And uh, then on the, the two weekends, uh, we we'll do our Mass, our 4 p.m. Mass on Saturday live. It has a lot of extra work, and it'll be up on YouTube for those both those weekends. Okay? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God come down upon you, your family, your home, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended, but we do our best this week to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thanks to all of you for praying with us. Enjoy the last few days before Christmas, everybody. You too, Father.